because we're in such interesting times right now, and I've been hearing any number of things, uh, we hear it called the shift, the ascension, the new earth, the Aquarian age. Can you speak into a little bit about what is happening on planet earth right now in this uh, unique time? Well, you're watching the planetary grids, the gold magnetic grids. And it's interesting because it's not just one layer. It goes all the way through the whole consolidated matter of the whole planet. The planet is purging all of its souls that have been lingering. It's purging the astral planes. It's purging the oceanic realms. It's purging nature. And this is, you know, it's pretty awesome because remember, for the last few years, you know, save the whale, save the dolphin, save the white oaks or whatever. Well, you're watching it go through a breakdown and regeneration. So all the damage that has been done, per se, it's all coming up, being dissolved, fracking and all that fun stuff. And it's all being dissolved, exposed. And the planet is literally purging itself of all of these heavier densities, all of the heavier emotions, even the sojourners that get kind of stuck, that got stuck in between realms. It's also dissolving everything that's ever played out in a body on a planet since first separation. So you watch it all the way from the dinosaur age and how they fertilize the planet, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're watching this giant Eden come back into harmony and you're watching all the emotional states from those that are in a body, physical, mental, emotional, soul level, Akashic record realm levels, old heavy energies that they bought into, hook, line, sinker in. Well, you're watching all of that. Those are saying, okay, I'm crossing the finish line. I'm done with why I came here in a body on a planet. So they're leaving the planet, making a full transition, which in turn is allowing for the light beingness here to amplify more and more in the new paradigm. New dear ones coming in, they are consciousness. They have been journeyers. So just other places coming in. And that's where we get into the crystalline offsprings, Pleiadian indigos, on and on and on, and rainbow offsprings. Well, yeah, that's coming in very quickly, but then it's like a clearing the decks of all the old energies, density, gunk, tar, stagnation, and like being like a hamster on a wheel, repeat, repeat, repeat. That's being purified and divinitized, and that's why you're looking at so many dear ones stepping off the planet so rapidly. You go into floods, rain, fire, whatever it may be, or COVID-19, cancer a couple years ago, that was the biggest thing. It's almost like cancer was contagious back then. And then you had AIDS epidemic before that, and HPV, HIV, on and on and on. Well, those are doorways for dear ones to step out. Literally, you can just snap your fingers and step out. But it's like an unraveling of the mind and then the mind in yourself sitting back day hours, sleep hours, going through life reviews to let all that gunk be done to make a full transition. Some are going through that right now as I speak and deciding, okay, you know, rather than dropping the body, I'm going to step back into it and go quicker than ever. So that's where you have, it's called hypothetically remissions and all of that, but it's really, okay, I'm going to jump back in. I have everything to gain, nothing to lose and merging into a new paradigm. But then you look at the planet regenerating itself or herself, where there's been all these worries, all these fears, running out of resources, and we're all going to move to Mars or something. And, you know, I, I'm still wondering if you sit at a bus stop or have your hitchhike. From here, it's interesting because this is the Earth regenerating its resources, especially right now. And I have so much fun with it watching lions. I, I saw this beautiful picture with a lot of lions laying on a road just sleeping on the road, doing their thing, enjoying the warmth. And bears are coming out. I saw a clip last night of a family having a picnic at a cabin with a bear sitting there with them. It's interesting because some places over in Norway, it's being totally repopulated. The sheep are taking over the city, which is pretty awesome because it's recreating a communion of ecology to let it really be more of a mutual honoring and the butcher houses, blah, 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 you know, so many of them being exposed, going out of business. It goes beyond humane. It goes into a mutual honoring, much like 
in the outback of Australia, the Aboriginals, they bless the animal who crosses their path. And there's a mutual agreement. The animal crosses their path knowing full well it's going to assist their bodies with sustenance. So it's a marriage of all of it. And same with veggies. And now the big thing is bio organic, no pesticides, which is awesome. That's part of the planet's vibratory level, raising and raising to expose all the nonsense, all the prior harm, litter, blah, 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 to where it's coming up to a state where it's more and more fluid and conscious from the heart of how we can all come together. That includes every culture, color, and creed, every continent. We don't have all these invisible lines called borders where we all get to come together as a whole. You have gifts. I have gifts. How best can we come together to complement? Not all this carnality and survival of the fittest stuff anymore.